So, six months ago, there's a robbery. Six months ago, you skipped town. Six months ago, there was also two murders. Start talking. What do you want me to say? Well, you could start at the beginning. Well, it's just about 10 o'clock. Time to make my move, finally. Stepped out. With a cigarette. Started walking down the alley. Saw a woman, just keeping to herself. No problem. Toss the bug. Pull down my mask. Walked in. As I was in the store, everything was just like autopilot. Smash the cases. Grab the loot. Make a run for it. Saw one big man coming back, holding coffee. Looked like he might have had a gun. Just ran right by him. Turned around, saw two shots coming up, they were both wild, squeezed two times, saw him drop, knew he wasn't going to get up. Second guard fell, I kept running. You murdered both of them? Yeah, I killed them both. Why'd you do it? Got a lot of money. I think we got everything we need. It was safe to say that our guy wasn't exactly a professional. He had left a witness at the scene. A witness that I'd need to talk to if I was going to get a clear picture of the events. six months ago, and I wanted to know if I could uh, spare a few minutes of your time to talk about that case and what you remember. A robbery? I, I, I think you have the wrong person. Well, I mean, the police report lists you as being on the scene and having talked to an officer right after it happened. They, and this, this is pretty serious as there were murders. I think you must have the wrong number. I don't remember anything like that. You're sure? Yeah. Well, all right. Thank you for your time. Six months on from the event, she'd tried so hard to forget that it actually worked. I could have pressed her harder, could have explained to her that she actually was a witness to a murder. But, uh, thought it'd be better to just let her live in peace. I needed a new line of investigation. Hey, uh, Mrs. Bellavanch? Yeah. Hi, Detective Marks. Nice to meet you. Um, I wanted to ask you some questions regarding the robbery that happened, you know, a few months ago. Um, we have a suspect in custody, but, uh, some things aren't sitting right with me, and I wanted to get a, uh, you know, fuller picture. Sure. Yeah, um... Well, it was about uh, closing time, so it must have been around 10 o'clock. I have two guards, James and Russell, and I sent Russell to go get me some coffee, like he usually does. Um, when this guy came in, all in black, wearing a ski mask, and he broke a bunch of cases, stole some of the more expensive pieces, and put them in his bag, and then he went out, and I saw him go up the street. I saw Russell begin to run after the man, but he ran in front of James just as James raised his gun. From where I stood, I saw that James accidentally shot Russell in the back. I waited a minute to make sure it was safe outside, and I saw both of them on the ground. I thought both of them were dead. And then a few days later, I heard that Russell had survived, but I haven't heard from him since. You're, you're saying that Russell is alive? Yeah, shouldn't the police know that? That was in no report. 
Do you have any information for that guard on file? Well, his full name's Russell Baker, but the address that he has on file, I went to go visit, and it didn't really seem like anyone was home. Or I lived there for a while. That's fine. The full name is enough for me. Thank you so much. Uh, I've got to go. At that point, the confusion was mounting. The robber told me he killed two men, but the shop owner just told me that one of her guards was alive. Why would he admit to a murder that he didn't commit? I needed to find Russell to understand what really happened. any moment now, but uh, I kind of have a feeling something more is going on here. Which is why I'm here. I, I want to get your side of the story, your, your full perspective. Sure, I can do that. Uh, I don't remember it all perfectly well. It's somewhat fragmented. I was coming back from my coffee break and uh, a man approached James, who was at the front. They shared some sort of interaction. The man went in and James looked up at me and his look just seemed off. So I continued in the direction of the store and a few moments later, the robber exited with a ski mask on and uh, contents in his bag. So I proceeded to pursue him on foot. He turns around, shoots me. Uh, the last thing I remember is hitting the pavement. So, uh, I want to place this in, in clear terms. You're suggesting that the other guard may be in on this. You know, I'm not sure exactly what, what was going on. I can only be sure of what I saw. Um, it did seem as if something was off, though. They must have been. I don't know. I don't know. Nothing more is required of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, officer. Good luck. At that point, I knew the real story. James hadn't died honorably in the line of duty. James had been betrayed by his partner in crime. I went to the chief with the story. He told me it'd be too much time and money to open the case back up. I guess the real story, like most of the memories in this city, will fall by the wayside, collecting dust until they're entirely forgotten. Detective Marks, May 8th, 2015. Case closed.